I'm here to break some serious news to you involving Jake Paul. Jake Paul is let it be known that he wants Floyd Kid Austin Schofield to face off against his fighter. You know, his name is Ashton. Um, we're going to break it all down. Um, repping H2O. This is some crazy stuff, you know, to point out. I want to read this tweet, you know, that had came out um, from Jake Paul. And we're going to get into his bout that happened today. He had an impressive first round knockout that we will discuss. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports for more news updates and more on this situation. Uh, Jake Paul put out, he said, Oscar, let's set up H2O versus Floyd for 2024 MVP's top prospect versus Golden Boys. You know, so, um, I, I mean, this, it, to be honest with you, I, listen, Jake Paul, man, he, he sells tickets. Uh, he's a draw. He's, you know, I mean, listen, he, as much as people want to say about Jake Paul, he um, is proving, you know, his value, you know, what he can do. Uh, but in all, in all seriousness, I understand that he has a fighter that he's developing, but um, I just think that he's barking up the wrong tree. I think that he should have went to maybe, like I said, I understand the opportunity. It's an unbelievable opportunity. But like I said, I, I don't know what made him feel that Kid Austin was the guy to choose, you know. And I believe that if that was to come to Kate, part of me come to um, happen, I believe that Kid Austin would make a complete example out of him, you know, also due to the fact of the high profile nature of this bout. But just, you know, all the chirping, you know, uh, the fact that you wanted to single Kid Austin out. Um, out of all of the fighters that you could have came out there and challenged, you thought that Kid Austin and Golden Boy was the ones, you know, to come at, you know. And I, like I said, I just think it's a poor decision. We're going to break it all down. Shout out Floyd, Kid Austin, Schofield. He's 16-0. and 0, No losses, no draws, 12 wins, by the way, a knockout. His power is tremendous. And that's what this guy Ashton from H2O, whatever it will be, um, looking at, you know, the, I'm telling you, the, I, I understand this man is undefeated. And if you're unfamiliar with this man, Ashton, you know, um, he's 10 and 0, you know, with nine wins, by the way, a knockout. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, um, I, 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 these guys are not, you know, I, I just feel like they're not cut from the same cloth as Kid Austin. Um, and Kid Austin to prove it, you'll only prove it in that ring. Oscar De La Hoya, CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, came out, you know, in this tweet, and you see what he said. He said, let's sit down and talk business. So you clearly listen. Golden Boy, they're going to put on big fights. You know, uh, when it was when it was before, you know, the tank, um, before, I mean, well, obviously Tank and Ryan went at it, but before that, it was speculation. It was supposed to be the Crawford-Spence fight. Um, they was dragging their feet. Golden Boy was the ones to put on a big, massive bout that was must-see TV, and everybody just loved it, you know, and you got to credit Oscar De La Hoya on that. Um, so he's not going to sit up here and shy away from making the biggest fights possible. So that's one thing that you can count on with Oscar De La Hoya. Um, and if it's a deal to be made with this fight, he's going to get it done. Kid Austin, it's time for Kid Austin to take on high profile fights really to be fighting for um chips you know we we throw this prospect word out but kid austin is truly a contender you know i just want to let you know this guy um ashton is a prospect you know kid austin is a bona fide contender and he has these champions trembling you know um last time i checked ashton um you know, Jake Paul, they ain't got nobody trembling. Not nobody that's really, you know, nice with them hands in there. You understand? Now you just want to grab up some MMA guys, some inexperienced Joes, you know. Uh, but when you going in there with a with the ferocious nature of Kid Austin, it's all bets are off, man. And it's going to be true terror, you know, for um, all of those guys. And uh, I feel sorry that this guy... Jake Paul came out and wanted to say all of these things. He, this is a poor decision, you know, trying to promote his fighter like this, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, man, um, 
Jake Paul, you know, he was a heavy favorite, you know, in his fight, you know, and the result was crazy. Um, Jake Paul predicted he would knock out Andre August in the first round in Orlando, and that's exactly what he did. You know, August landed a hard left, but Jake Paul pieced up a bit. He landed a hard uppercut with his right hand. Um, August slumped to the mat, and Paul waved goodbye while standing over his opponent. The fight lasted just two minutes and 32 seconds. An error occurred while retrieving the tweet. It might have been deleted. In rather damning analysis, ringside commentator Ariel Hawani said August looked terrified right before the fight and didn't want to speak. He also added that he was a uh, he was basically not a good man walking, and his locker room looked like um like like they said he was at a home, perhaps because um of all of these bright lights August found himself under. Um, August admitted in an interview on Fox Digital that um, a bit it was a bit of a culture shock. Um, Jake Paul, you know, took to the ring to Brenda Lee's rocking around Christmas tree playing, you know, and um, like I said, it was crazy. DraftKings, um, the fight's main sportsbook sponsor, had Paul a negative 900 to win, but plus 20, 2,200 to win via knockout in the first round. So that's a big time cash out, and you've seen it firsthand. Um, I said, here's some quotes. He said, I said first round knockout all week. I manifested it. Um, this is the power of manifestation. This is what Paul uh, put out. Um, he went night, night. I told him he don't need a, a Celsius to wake up. Paul added, plugged his energy drink. Paul often pulls uh, out the silent celebration as a way of saying he's going to continue silencing the critics. Everyone who has something to say about me, he's told them to be quiet. Um like I said, Jake Paul moved to 8-1 in his career with five knockouts. After this fight, he took time to reflect on his journey from Disney Channel to the ring and offered some advice to those who may need it. Um, so it, it's kind of wild, but shout out to Jake Paul. Um, so we, I, we don't just, I don't want to just discredit him, but I just think he's making a poor decision. And um, they, they know what this guy Kid Austin is about. Do you really want him to go in there and manhandle your fighter? I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports. Make sure you hit the like button. Peace and love to you all. And we got to pay the utmost homage to Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. He's a champ, and he ain't going nowhere, man. He's been doing this a long time. I don't think people understand, you know, the pain, you know, that this man put into, you know, the sport of boxing. And if anybody feel like, they can just single him out and pick him and think that it's some easy, it's chopped liver. I, I, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And I, 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 I'm going to let you figure the rest out. It's Flight Sports TV. Peace.